This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Illinois basketball up to four, up to number 19. Let's try that again in the country in the AP Top 25. And this is before they go to Vegas. It means they will have a Top 20 showdown in Vegas this weekend. North Carolina number one, Baylor number five, UCLA number eight. The Illini play the Bruins on Friday night. Virginia 14 and there's Illinois at 19. But before we get to Vegas, first things first, a Monday night showdown against Monmouth and Taryn Shannon Jr. was ready to play. He gets the State Farm Center on its feet. Corner three, 10 seconds in and that was a big sign of things to come. Matthew Meyer, the three ball top of the Key. Illinois takes an early lead and it never gives up starting the game five of six from deep Then the guards get involved. Sky Clark drives the lane makes the contested layup the freshman making it look easy then Clark doing the assisting a pick and roll action with Dane Danger the pretty pass in the paint. The big man keeps his hot streak going a 10 0 run at that point. Danger finishes with 15. Here is Shannon Jr. The underneath to Ty Rogers for his first dunk in orange and blue makes it a 34 to 10 run and then more from Shannon goes opposite hand to the rim reverse layup and one he'd make the free throw a 30 piece on the night for the Texas Tech transfer and they're not done yet Jaden Epps another freshman playing his part doing very well he had 21 with the triple there it was a 30 point game at half and Illinois rolls improving to 3 and 0 with the win and now head west for the biggest test yet let's go right back out to State Farm Center where WCI 3's Andy Olson is live and Andy convincing win setting up what should be a fun week for the Illini yeah, Brett, this is exactly what the Illini needed in this one. It started out strong, unlike the previous two games on Friday against UMKC. Illinois just one of 18 from the field. No such start tonight. Terrence Shannon Jr., the immediate three from the corner. And Illinois was off and rolling. And this one at one point in the first half, having a field goal percentage over 75%. Now cooled off a little bit in the second half with more of those bench players getting minutes. But in the end, that's what this was most important for. For getting those guys minutes finding their groove as they head to a really big tournament later this week in Las Vegas and it's a win that Illinois should have gotten it's a one that they did get now has all the momentum going into UCLA and Las Vegas then playing possibly Baylor or Virginia after that Brett but energy was good here in the State Farm Center tonight the Illini played with a lot of energy which is what you want to see at this point of the season with big tests ahead and we're looking forward to those Brett I know you're looking forward to those ones specifically being out there We'll send it back to you. Andy, thanks. We'll have lots of coverage coming up this week. Right now, though, you can head to our digital channels to watch Brad Underwood's full post-game press conference live directly on your social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, our website, and our app.